Hi everyone, I'm Deb Campus. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. Today, I want to talk about gear. Yes, a subject that we all like, gear. And actually, I wanted to show you guys the gear that I'm going to be using for 2020, for 2021, three seasons. So that means anything not colder than 30 and in the coldest time of day or night. I actually wanted to tell you that I believe firmly that we all have different thresholds for carrying a certain weight. Some people have more tolerance, some people have less tolerance. I think I'm the second one. <laughs> I have very little tolerance for carrying weight. So I wanted to talk to you guys and go a little bit over of how I almost unintentionally became ultralight. So when I started backpacking in 2017, my base weight was 26 pounds, believe it or not. And put on top of that food and water, it, my backpack was easily 35 to almost 40 pounds. That was painful. After my experience with carrying heavy, heavier backpacks, I just decided to cut down on my weight, on my um, base weight as much as I could, but within budget. I I wasn't open-minded about spending more to getting lighter gear. For me, that was just way too much. I was just wanted to stay in the, my budget and just go ahead and just, you know, buy whatever I could, which I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong thinking that way. So going back to being becoming lightweight, I just worked really hard and I was able to just leave a lot of stuff behind and get my base weight down to... 15 pounds yes I was able to cut off 11 pounds and I was so happy yes it was great uh, already 11 pounds made such a big difference uh, carrying less in my base weight and after that I came the PCT came my PCT um, goal and dream I was preparing to the PCT is was my base weight and it was always in my mind actually because I worried that even 15 pounds base weight for me was going to be too much for a long distance hike like the Pacific Crest Trail is. So I really came to a realization that I was going to have to actually reduce my weight as much as possible like drastically like a lot. And I that's when I started to actually invest in lighter gear that were, was more expensive because I thought it was worth it for the fact that I was going to go through hike the PCT. In my preparation to the PCT, I ended up going as low as 6.3 pounds. And that's when the whole change happened because I actually was preparing and practicing and uh, not practicing, but training for my, my through hike and then hiking almost every day with that lightweight backpack on my back. And I'm gonna tell you, it felt great. It felt amazing, I loved it. Are you kidding me? It was the, the lightest thing ever and I loved it. And I had energy and my back didn't hurt, my legs didn't hurt and I could just keep going. And that it's when I came to the realization that ultralight was my place to be. But now why? Was it just the weight? No, actually it was a combination of a lot of factors. It was my age, it was my, like I said, my tolerance for low weight, my body composition. I have adopted a method of minimalism in my life and the way that I was backpacking with so much stuff in my backpack, it was not reflecting that. I wanted to bring minimalism also into my backpacking style. How I ended up becoming ultralight it was a battle all the way through. I didn't accept becoming ultralight until I did have a lightweight back in my back and then I felt how great it was. So then my priorities switched. I wanted to feel good while backpacking and even if it cost me more, I wanted to invest in that because that would guarantee me continuing to go outside, continuing to go into the back country and go further, go longer days, you know, of course you have more energy to do it and then you don't hurt so much and there's not much pain not everybody feels the same pain so we have different thresholds that's why backpacking is so personal and we all have different weights in carrying the weight of our backpacks on our backs 
So that's why I think it's really important that we understand each other and we respect each other. And, and now I am going to show you guys my ultralight gear for 2021 that um, I'm very happy with and I believe it's going to work for me. All right, so let's get going. Uh, this is all my gear. This is all this goes inside the backpack. So let's start here with my backpack and this backpack it's the Nero z -Pax Nero 38 liters and it's great it's the new version and it's made out of Robic instead of Dyneema keep an eye on my fault my next videos when I will be doing an overview on this backpack this right here is my trekking pole I don't use much trekking poles but my tent needs it and this is the Cascade Mountain this is the Cascade Mountain um, trekking pole. It's a new one of carbon fiber and it weights only 5.6 ounces. So I love it. Um, this is my bag liner. It's a turkey braining uh, bucket, um, gallon, uh, five gallons um, bag liner. And it's not noisy. It's way better and it's strong. It holds all the gear without problems. Um, this is my fanny pack. It's the Light AF fanny pack. <clears throat> and this is the large size. And here I will keep my phone and my earphones. Um, i continuing here with my big threes. Uh, this is my Z Packs uh, sleeping bag, full zip, 30 degrees. I really like, like this um, sleeping bag. I've had it down so into very cold, into the 20s and it was great a great great awesome um, sleeping bag the fact that it's full, full zip it has baffles so no cold air comes in this is my thermarest new air um, x light and this is the short version I and mean, i keep it folded like this so it only comes down to my knees and this right here it's my new also gear at uh, the z packs hexamid pocket tarp with storm doors it also has the ground sheet the ground tub ground sheet tub that attaches to the t the tent and it has the cedar summit net inside for mosquito season i don't all i won't always carry the net with me but i am so far i'm really liking this tent and it's so lightweight um, that right there is just a piece of uh, ridge rest, thermal rest, ridge rest foam pad cut up, cut out that I use inside my backpack for frame. And it's amazing. It really gives me a good frame. It keeps the, ba the backpack actually standing. And also I put it on my legs where, where the pad end, ends. When I'm like on my legs, I put that pad underneath for warms. Um, like I said, I will be doing some other overviews for my bag, my, my sleeping bag, for my tent, and maybe I will also be going more in details with the little stuff. Okay, so clothing. Uh, this is my Torrid, um, Enlightened Equipment Torrid jacket for women, and it's very warm, very good, synthetic, so I can actually hike in it and not mess it up. For clothing right here, I have another Enlightened Equipment wind pants, very lightweight, it's like one ounce, 1.4, and this is for sleeping and also for windy days, although I hike with pants already, but if you put this under your pants, it will make it very warm. This is my base layer bottom, it's just a women's tights, or actually pantyhose if you want to call it. But it's actually 60 deniers, so it's very thick and very warm. I remember my mom would make us wear these to go to church when I was a kid in the cold. And they were very warm. And it's just 1.6 ounces. Um, here, it's a lightweight t-shirt. And this right here are my socks. Copper fit socks. Which I love these socks and I wear them all the time for hiking. My cook kit, it's actually very simple. 
this is my bag where I, for hanging and it's a reusable grocery shopping bag it's nylon and I line it with this is very noisy this is a cellophane made out of cellophane but it's the turkey oven bag the reason that I use that one it's and not my another liner like that one it's because this one is supposed to keep the smell out from your food um, these are my this is my rock bag and this right here is my cook kit so this year I'm going with the Esbit stove I am very happy of the change I really like it and it makes more sense to me than having to carry the weight of a gas stove and inside there is a Tokes titanium pot 550 ml um, with the little SB stand inside and also a, a titanium um, windscreen next is how I will be dealing with rain uh, I live in the west coast not west coast but on the west side of the country in Utah there's very little rain in so southern Utah and um, the rains are usually very quick and fast and so there's no need to spend and carry uh, heavy gear rain gear for um, for a place that doesn't need it so um, this it's I want to use an umbrella this is a Mont Bell travel umbrella and it's only three ounces so I will be I don't know still how it works so I guess we'll see and I will report back to you guys this is also how I'm gonna in conjunction the umbrella I will be using this uh, wind parka from z -Pax. so this is the I think it's called Ventum and it's very nice and very warm I really like it but of course I need to use it with uh, some sort of cover because it's not waterproof and this right here it's something that I've been very interested in testing I just haven't had a chance because it never rains but this is a disposable rain poncho with sleeves and I really want to use it. it covers my backpack and it covers me for wind rain which rarely happens but this is what I want to use and let's see how it goes I mean the trails here are not tight they're not bushy everything's pretty open so and if it ever gets a cut or something I'll just patch it up okay um, for water I use my ever new one and a half liter water I changed up the little yellow um, cap for this one I don't know I just like it better uh, a water uh, smart water bottle one liter and um, my Sawyer micro squeeze um, I don't know it's pretty good still ha I haven't had any troubles with it moving on here to my ditty bag I intend to do this was one of the items that took me the longest to dial it down because it we tend to put a lot of stuff here in this part right here of the ditty bag and this is the part that really took me longer to actually bring down to a, a an ultralight weight without and still being safe and still be um you know come uh, have the have the things that i need so uh, i real quick here i have a half of light low towel just for me to clean myself up at the end of the day this is a sports bandage in case my knee hurts uh, this is a my little bag that has um, all my um, hygiene and repair slash repair kit. This is my first aid kit, and I will make a video only on this stuff. This is my electronics. I carry a small battery pack for a three, three or four days of backpacking, and this is a face mask. Um. And last, my toiletry, uh, my toilet bathroom kit. It's my Deuce Spade trowel. Um, this is a pee rag. This is um, this is a um, soap for me to wash my hands and keep clean. And this right here, it's my new bidet. I had the other one, which is very big and clunky to use. This one is awesome. It's from um, 
lab irrigation bottles you just use the tip you got to choose the one that fits your water bottle right there so that is it um, my base weight is all this for three seasons it's counting with my fanny pack is 6.6 without my fanny pack it's 6.1 pounds that's my gear right there on the floor now I have to pick it all up and that's my jacket right there so I want to thank you so much for watching and just a little recap going back to what I said in the beginning is that yes gear ultralight gear does cost a little bit more but it's it's an investment and not an investment in gear it's an investment in myself as um, because I felt so much better with an ultralight pack that's how I want to keep it and to me the way that I did it and once I tried an ultralight pack going back to a, a heavy pack just didn't make sense anymore because it'll guarantee or at least incentive me more to stay outside and keep going outside and keep uh, finding my my peace and my healing which is what I always search in nature so what about you let me know what you think about ultralight backpacking and it how have how have your experience be with it um, I want to wish you guys a nice week or weekend or whenever it is that you're watching this take care and I will see you guys in the next video take care Bye. Peace.